Hi guys, welcome to Channel VST here. One of my viewers Dick Dick, suggested that I do a video with my S22 Ultra testing Genshin Impact or any other game playing with the game optimization service and without the game optimization service. Um, Alright, why not do this? So guys, I have set the processing speed of my phone to maximum. I don't really think this has a lot of impact playing games, but nevertheless I did so. Right, um, what I'm gonna do also guys, inside the game launcher I will turn in the so-called priority mode. Okay, so right now it's switched off. I'm gonna switch it on right now. So priority mode turn on and I'm now gonna start the Genshin Impact. Also, I'm using the GPU watch so that you can just see here, guys, we have the current average frame rate per second, right? And we have also the CPU load and also the average GPU load. We are now inside the game and I wanna show you guys the settings. So I am gonna go to the settings here. I'm gonna go to the graphics and you can just see custom. Everything is on high and I'm using also here the 60 FPS. So this is pretty much really the highest settings. All right, when doing nothing, FPS is 47, 50. Yeah, it's below 50 in general. And you can just see here the CPU and the GPU allocation. All right, guys, let me just start by doing so, all right? Okay, what? What you can see right now is still not so bad, All right? And I'm just gonna try to do some commands while you can just observe the gameplay and also pay attention to the frame rate, okay? Let's do some moves there, okay, wow, okay. We have now the drops and you can just see guys, here we had a 30 FPS drop from 40 and of course you can just see this on the graph, okay? All right, remember this is with the game optimization service on. Okay, let's switch the character here. Go, go, Baron Bunny. Okay, let's try to turn around quickly like this. So honestly, guys, it's yeah. It, I don't think that we can even reach 60 FPS with the highest settings there. But for now, we have like almost a stable. 40 something frame rate, which is actually quite playable. Now, in case of some heavy combat and etc., I would expect that it will drop, and then we can just see this performance drop inside the graph. But it is what it is, and this is really as good as it gets. Don't forget to also check the gameplay with the GOS disabled. A lot of people now are asking me the question what about the Axinos version? Does it make any sense? There were also some tweets from Max Weinbach from XTA that this GOS now with One UI 4 is not only doing something some throttling light it's a bit more complex and so yeah he needs some more time to test it and we're just trying to do what we can guys to understand what Samsung are doing with all of this right they do claim to have sophisticated algorithms right to just not expose your device to a lot of heat and also of course not try to compromise your gameplay now have in mind that with the game optimization service turn off it's very possible guys you'll experience yeah heat and of course here is not good for your device okay now we have some action Oh yeah, okay, it was an animal. I'm just wandering around and we can just see like, I would say more or less with the game optimization service, we are getting something like 40 FPS, 45 FPS. And sometimes of course there are the drops, but it's more or less stable. Let's also check the temperature guys. I've installed here the CPU monitor. Okay, 41 degrees is pretty much okay. I would say this CPU and this SOC can take a bit more. All right. Let's just try to go and do some more gameplay. And I would say, guys, right now is a very good time to introduce also the gameplay without the GOS. But let me just first tackle some fights so that you can just see how the game will behave with GOS when we are having these fights. Okay, not at bad at all. Okay, not at bad at all. Okay, below 40 FPS, but it's still playable, I would say. Okay. Okay, 35 FPS. Uh, I think now it got messy, got messy, yeah, but it is what it is guys, remember it's an Exynos version, alright, good, now this was guys the gameplay with the GOS, now let's do something, I'm just going to go and close the game and close everything on my phone guys and just show you how I disable the game optimization service, I'm using the app manager, okay, so I'm just loading all of my applications, 
right? This, by the way, costs only two euro and a half, and it's very easy, guys. You just need to remove all of your accounts, then use ADB and set this as a device owner admin, and then you can do all this nice stuff. Scrolling down to the game launcher, all right? So what I'm going to disable now, I'm gonna disable the game booster, the game launcher, the game optimization service, and also the game plugins, okay? And you can just see, guys, game plugins, yeah, it's just up, it's not installed at all. And if I'm trying to open the game launcher, you see this is actually simply not going to work. So everything now stop. Let's start the Genshin Impact again. Now remember, Samsung S22 Ultra, Exynos 2100 chipset, game optimization service now stop. The game boost and everything is gone. So we are now running the Genshin Impact without this. It's going to be better. It's going to be worse. Okay, we need to still check. Let's start the game. 55, 60 FPS. Let's go inside and see what we're gonna get. And by the way, you already remember the performance we had with the GOS. It was stable 40, 45 in terms of just walking around, then combat wise falling off between 30 to 40. Yeah, so it was not really the perfect experience, but it was still playable. Remember, I'm using here the highest settings and also 60 FPS. Okay, the phone doesn't feel so warm in my hand or I'm just used to warm phones now already. But hey, let's just see how much frames per second we're gonna get inside. And the start, by the way, is it's uh, rather like a rocky start. Oh my God. Without the game optimization service, 22, 23 FPS. Okay, let's wait a bit. Let's let's see if it's, if the phone is, is gonna recover somehow. And also, guys, let me just show you the settings. If I go here inside the settings and I go to the graphics, we still have the custom, which is actually everything set on the highest. Also, the FPS are set to high. But I'm a bit surprised, guys. I'm a bit surprised. Now I think it's a bit better and we are now slowly getting to almost the same levels or rather not, no, no, it's not the same levels. It is, it's a bit laggy, honestly, compared to running with the GOS, which is actually quite interesting. But let's just try to play around, let's see. Let's try to play around, maybe it's gonna get better. Maybe it's gonna get better. Okay, inside the water, as you can see, yeah, but it's a bit more drastic. Yeah, we had a drop, I think, to seven FPS. Let's just try to engage with a combat like this. 26, hmm, okay. Oh my god, severe drops, I think, yeah. Yeah, oh my god, yeah, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, the drops were actually not the best we experienced. By the way, guys, let me just try to do something. I'm going to get outside of the game, but not killing it. And I'm just gonna try to enable the game optimization service and everything back like the game launcher. Let me just see, guys. The way I do it, I just go here and I filter on all the disabled applications. Once I'm there, I'll just enable all of those, okay? Enable, enable, game plugins as well. All right, let's see, this is ab about enough. And by the way, now you see Game Launcher is already active. It is still on the priority mode, okay? This should really mess up with the game, I guess, but I will not restart the game. We're just gonna reconnect to the server and I wanna see if something really meaningful will happen. Okay, yeah, no. Oh, wow, 40 something, guys. You see? I'm not sure. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. But it seems that just disabling GOS and the game booster and all of that is not the best that can happen. Okay, let me just do another, another, another experiment, guys. This time I've only disabled the game optimizing service, but I'm gonna leave the game booster, game launcher, and the game plugins. And the only way to check if this works is when we go inside game launcher, right? It still works. So let's just see now. Right now, that's a bit of a weird configuration. So right now, we only disabled the game optimization service, but we left everything else. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, 33 something. Well, yeah, it's not perfect. We have these drops, it's not so perfect. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's 20. Oh my god. Just running around the water, guys, and you can just see 30, 20, it is, yeah, it's bad bad at all let me just try to wait and just see if the game can somehow recover it can do it if i don't touch it 
we can just go and do something like 35, 34, it's not that bad. And okay, now I'm just gonna go back inside of my package manager and I'm going to enable back the game optimization service. Right, right now guys, it's there. I'm not sure if actually if it's worse or if it's better. What I only see is that when enabled is a bit better, but is this really true? Yeah, how one can tell, but see the frame rate guys. See, only by enabling the game optimization service, the frame rate <laughs> increases, damn it. Yeah, it's not a joke. This is definitely weird, guys. But you know, this might be related also to what Max was saying, that this is just not, you know, like your usual throttle service, and that the GOS is trying to balance out many parameters, you know, like the RAM, and also the CPU, and the power, and the consumption, and everything else. But I think we can now prove, or at least I can now prove with this video, that I have a bit better results when the GOS is enabled. Which honestly is quite funny, I don't remember how it was on the Exynos 2100, but I think it was really better without the GOS. And also seen the videos on the YouTube by other YouTubers, it seems that on the Snapdragon chip is a bit better when you disable it, okay? Right, so, but okay guys, Exynos, it's Exynos and it's different. So guys, this has been my video, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Please you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. I really think that's very interesting in terms of fighting. Let's try to debate and discuss in the comments. Join us on the Telegram channel guys, please you and your family stay safe. BST over and bye.